Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tessie and Eric Raymer helping you get your business right by reminding you that small business is big business and your business is our business. How are you? I am doing fantastic. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You are? I uh I went to the gym. Yes, you did. Uh-huh. Look at you, like two weeks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> And I injured myself. You injured yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, you what, pull what something. Is that? What is that little? Uh, you break your, your, you break your guns a little bit. What do you call bit. that thing? That is, it, is, it, is this my weenus? No, your weenus is the skin on what? your elbow. Oh, what's mm-hmm. this thing? The the thing that goes between. Be my, more specific. <laughs> the thing that that goes between my. My um, the, the little web, thumb. the little web yeah, in your the web, the web in your you hand. Sure that, is, is, is that that? Do you is think that that's my is, is that your? Does that have a name? That little know. that little the muscle right here. Because there is like a little muscle. Uh-huh. There's like this yeah, little muscle right mm-hmm. there. Right? Is that what All hurts? Right. It hurts. Look at this. This there. You've got that right, right. in your hand uh-huh. between your that thing between your thumb and your forefinger. If you there's like this little muscle and it. It does. It starts to hurt. Get a little arthritic if you've been riding too much. Yeah. If you've rowing been rowing on the the rower. Oh, that, that, holding that, the, the rowing yeah. machine. I wonder if it's because mm-hmm. because I've of been the ring. That muscle too much. Because of the ring that I you have. Wear, it is a pretty thick ring. I wear rings on my thumbs. Right, but it's a thicker ring that you have on that thumb. I wonder yeah. if that has an impact on how that rower, how that Maybe. hand, because I think your hand, your thumb has to be just a little removed. And you are, it's, it's a self, it's a self-inflicted injury. Eric. Self-inflicted? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Dr. Angel. You're welcome. I read it on the internet, so <laughs> it, it must, must be, be true. true. You know what else I read on the internet? What is that? That if your middle name is Louise yeah. or Marie, right. that 2018 is going to be your best year ever. All right. Well, my, read mi- it on my the middle internet. name is not either of those. So again, a must be true. All right. Let's help you get some money. Let's help you grow your business. That's what we are here for. Little fun and games once in a while. Little, right. little lifestyle, little health, but, um, and, really, and the occasional weenus. And the occasional weenus. Did you know that, that that's what that was called? I the, did. The, el- the skin on your elbow. A little flappy. That little flappy mm-hmm. little, yeah, is apparently. A weenus. That's according to my cousin, Christopher, who stretches his weenus because he wants no, no, it no. to be really long. He does. He's and he right. no, and no. he like rubs his belly. And yeah, he, I mean, he's like that kind of cousin. He's like that cousin Christopher. Uh, he's I like think... that crazy cousin Christopher that that is the life of the party. You said and we we're gonna make some money. We are gonna make some money. Nice. Um, here's a couple of things. If you need help making money, right? If your business isn't growing, ask yourself this: Do okay. you have a well choreographed plan for one generating leads? And then two, converting them into sales. So do you know, do you have your plan for how you're generating leads, you know, where leads are coming from and how to convert them into sales? If you do not park the car, stop park, bang, bang, right? You do not need a new website. You do not need an aggressive media campaign. You do not need SEO work, search engine optimization. You do not need blogging. You do not need to go to conferences. You do not need to pass go. You do not get to collect your $200 until you figure out where your customers are coming from and how to convert them into sales. Because when you have an income problem, you actually have a sales problem. Well, thanks to Michelle Pippen, we've got uh, seven things that you can do when you need money now. And we're talking Right now. Right now. And, you know, and I have yet to run into the entrepreneur who is just overflowing with cash flow and, (laughs) you know, just way too much. And we don't know what to do with it most of the time. In fact, it's quite the epidemic of entrepreneurs who are struggling to create, even to take home a paycheck for themselves. They might be generating money, right? Their business is generating money, but most of it's going right back into marketing, their staff, all of this stuff. 
And then in most, most entrepreneurs do not take home a regular paycheck. So we want to change that. We want to shift your mindset a little bit. 90% yep. of all business problems can be solved with more sales. So let's get down to the foundation, the nitty gritty of it. Number one, you need to set your monetary goal. <sighs> no, 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 no yawning what? just yet. You would think this shouldn't have to even be number one on the list. Right. But too often we say, well, I just need more sales. I need more customers. It's I need a Cheshire cat. How do you know if you got there if you don't know where you're going? Is one more enough? It's $10 more? I mean, it's more. You've got to know what the number. So start with a goal that has two components. Number one. It's monetary. Yep. Like you know your monetary goal. And two, it has a deadline date. When? What is your deadline? Do you need to be, you know, is it by the 15th of the month so you can make payroll? Is it by the 30th so you can make, you know, make rent? All of that. You need to have your deadline dates. All right. Number two, you need to define what you will sell in order to reach that goal. And this is an overall business or marketing plan uh, conversation here. The singular focus is generating income now right so what you will sell before you'll who you'll sell it to is important assuming that you have decided on your own menu item of yeah, services. You are, yeah you've already got products this right. isn't for a brand new business who doesn't even know what they're selling but but when you think about uh i need to make money this week this month what am i going to sell right. which one of these menu items which one of these products or services can i get out there and hustle be specific. Be very specific. So, and you know, what are you going to sell and how many of them can you sell in order to hit your goal? Okay. So I've got three of these coaching packages that I can sell. I've got four of these widgets. I've got seven of these appointments. How, you know, what is it and how many? There you go. And then who are you going to sell to? We mm -hmm. talk about this all the time. Who's your ideal client? Right. But, but even more specific than that. Make a, a real list, not a demographic sketch of, okay. of Harley Davidson writing, you know, realtors, right? All right? No, an actual list of names. Who will you sell to? Maybe it's a list, a list of the neighbors around your practice. Maybe it's a list of 50 people that you're going to invite to an event or sales call or a conference or a ribbon cutting or something in your office. Maybe it's a group that you're already involved in. Maybe it's a couple people from different groups that you're already invo involved in. Maybe you take your current list of paying clients and there's some of those in there that you can kind of do an upsell or an add on. Sure add-on of this service too. So not a demographic sketch of your ideal client. Cause remember we need to make money today. Right. So names, names. <laughs> next, you've got to generate some interest, right? Before you can actually generate sales. And sometimes you actually need, you need to define a need for them before they feel it. Like they're just going along, la la la, having a good old time. And they don't even know that you're I was going to say kind of for him. I don't, that's not necessarily the right phrase, but right. That you, they're on your hit list. Right? right. Um, but we need to generate interest of our audience. You want them to nod their heads. Yes. Raise their hands and say, yes. yes, this is the tricky part, right? We're all good at, at being Tommy, the trainer, or, you know, just really sharing our information or, or connecting and networking. But when it comes to actually getting people to nod their heads, Raise, Raise their, their hands. hands and say yes. Move them towards pushing the button, you know, you know, closing on the deal, finalizing the sale. This is the this is the tricky part. But this is this is the part where we all fall short and we stop. We have our things that we want to sell to, we know what we want to sell, and we have our number, and then we kind of get real passive about maybe posting it maybe one time on Facebook or sending right. an email out that says, do you kind of sort of maybe wish that this was available to you? Because it kind of sort of maybe could be. Right. That's not really generating interest. So we actually have to get them more. We have to you know, entice and tease and motivate. So we might have to throw in a couple extra bonuses. We might have to throw in uh, some perks. We might have to juice up what it is, the, the way that we talk about it. Remember, folks will rarely be more excited about it than you are. So if you aren't super jazzed about it and you aren't really hyping it up, that this is the next best thing since sliced bread and, and the sense of urgency and why this is going to help you right now, then they will never want to come into you because they'll always do it when later.
Once you've built all that up, you need to take them beyond a reasonable doubt. Show them the evidence that what you're saying is true. Give testimonials, interview your own clients, share stories that offer proof. And now... Let them taste it. Mm, give them a little sample, a little right. taste test, right? Um, now, she says, this is easy if you sell ice cream or macarons, right? But you have uh, to be more creative about this if you're selling chiropractic care or window treatments, right? Or tummy tucks. Right. Ooh. Yeah, you can't, hard to hard Kind of hard to that. sample that. Um, but you can be creative. And there are probably some different add-on features that you can actually get them to taste so that they come in. And we've all walked through the the food court and had a little sampling and got us to buy something, even if we weren't going to in the first place. Does that help? I hope so. I think it does. Go make some money. Now. Mm -hmm. We'll be back right after these messages. Angel and Eric, this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. 